When I converted to Islam, that was in 1977, uh, first of all, you don't have the tremendous number of Muslims and Muslim institutions that you have right now. Uh, secondly, still at that point uh, in the history of Islam in this country, probably the majority of Muslims were African-American Muslims. And uh, in that sense, Islam was sort of a liberationist par paradigm. Uh, in other words, when you converted to Islam, you saw yourself as liberating yourself from an, an oppressive system that was oppressive at many different levels. And in the sense that one felt uh, sort of a liberationist impulse, uh, there wasn't much of a conscious effort to try to accommodate the system or accommodate the mainstream. So I'm a Muslim now. I don't do what everyone else does. I don't dress like everyone else dresses. So you saw a lot of, uh, in, in terms of dress, uh, resistance in dress. So hijab wasn't sort of for sisters, something to debate in terms of its properness or not being proper. It was something you did as a Muslim to distinguish yourself from the kuffar of the oppressive system. And for a brother to wear a kufi, like probably the overwhelming majority of Muslim men, now there's no sort of distinguishing Muslim headgear, but at that point, in time, it was like you identified yourself as a person who had rejected what you saw as, generally speaking, as an oppressive status quo. I think for a lot of Muslims, that's no longer true. Number one, the nature of the Muslim community has changed dramatically. So I think probably African-American Muslims are no longer a majority. Massive waves of immigrants who are now with uh, immigrants and their children here are probably the numerical majority are looking at the country itself as a, as a savior and a source of salvation from oppression that they're fleeing. So for them, America is the liberator and not the oppressor. Because in America, I'm free to express myself. I'm free to make money. I'm free to make more money. I'm free to uh, engage, to have a political identity that I was denied in my Muslim homeland. So America is the greatest thing since apple or cherry pie for a lot of Muslims increasingly. That being the case, the, the effort or even the need to consciously distance oneself from the mainstream or to see Islam as being something inherently superior to the mainstream. I think that's an impetus that doesn't motivate a lot of Muslims nowadays. And as a result of that, I think formally where Muslims might have seen Islam as submission to, to the will of God, whatever the consequences are now, uh, a lot of people might see Islam as the religion of peace that wants to peacefully coexist with what many see as a very desirable and admirable mainstream. Personally, I think that as Muslims, we have a moral uh, responsibility in addition to our spiritual responsibility. Our spiritual responsibility is to maintain a strong connection with our Lord and to liberate our souls from the hellfire and not to be amongst those the Qur'an describes as ظَالِمُ nafsi, one who oppresses their very soul. Our moral responsibility, I believe, is to, while acknowledging the good features of this American or any other system, uh, to point out and try to overcome those negative aspects. Now, do we say in the interest of being good citizens, sit back and say nothing while we destroy not only the world, but inevitably our very country, starting by rotting out ourselves morally from the inside out? We do definitely, we have a political responsibility, we have a responsibility to maintain public order and the, the integrity of public spaces. We have a responsibility towards our fellow citizens to protect their life and their honor and their dignity. Uh, but that's not in conflict with our responsibility to God, to our Creator. And so I think the important thing for us is to do what's pleasing to God. If we do what's pleasing to God, we'll do what will be pleasing to fair-minded, honest people of integrity. If that uh, rankles 
and agitates some sinister, diabolical, nefarious people, that's their problem, not ours. Because at the end of the day, it, we're going to be alone before our Lord. Thank you.